This is an amount of substance question. It's a 10 marker, runs from A through to D. I'm going to recommend you pause, try A and B, then move on and try the rest before reviewing the answer. So here's A and B. Part C. And part D. Now let's start taking a look at the answers. Probably some of the most complicated balancing of equations that you will have seen in a past paper question. My start point is to pick an element and then it can be trial and error. I'm going to start with the copper though because I can see that I've got Cu2S and Cu2O on the right. That's four coppers so I'm going to put my four in here. Now that means I've got four ions which means I need to multiply up my FeSiO3 on the other side and then because I've done that and I've got my four SIs I need four SiO2. Now I can then look at my sulfurs I've got four times two in the CuFeS2 eight sulfurs but I've also got a Cu2S so I need seven SO2 to balance them and once I've done that I'm left with the oxygens, which is the one I would always go to last. Uh, it's there as an element on its own, so it's easier to just make up the numbers. And that comes to 9.5O2. Moving on to the second equation, um, Cu2S, Cu2O. Well, I'm going to need to multiply this one up to balance the O's. And then from there, I can see that I've got six Cu's on the left. So I need six Cu's on the right. Moving into organic chemistry for a little bit here, reasons why sulfur dioxide is removed from exhaust gases. It is the major cause of acid rain. So removing it will prevent the formation of acid rain. And the other answer to go for potentially is that it can cause breathing difficulties. It is a toxic gas. Moving on to part C, and we have a calculation here, um, quite a lot of steps to go through, not difficult maths, but fiddly to go through step by step. But let's see what we can work out. We have a mass of copper, so we can always find its MR. So let's work out how many moles of it we have. Well, I'm remembering to convert my kilograms into grams, multiplying by a thousand. That tells me I've got 63,780 moles. So that means that I would need 63,780 moles of CuFeS2. So I've got the moles, I can find its MR, and from there I can work out its mass. Now, finally, I know that that's the mass of CuFeS2 that I would need, but that is only 1.25% of the rock that I would need to extract from. So I'm going to do my calculation, divide that by 1.25, multiply by 100, and that tells me, well, it doesn't quite tell me yet, because I'm also going to divide by 10 to the 6. And that's because that would give me an answer in grams. I want the answer in tons. Now, to get from grams to kilograms, you divide by 1,000. To get from kilograms to tons, you divide by 1,000. So I'm dividing by a million. And that takes me to 936 tonnes. Finally, part D, we have got here a very straightforward atom economy question. No tricks, nothing here to throw you. Um, our important product is the copper. So we have two of those. So it's two times 63.5. My total MR of two CuO and C is 171. So that's what I divide by, multiply by 100, and we get to 74 0.3%. And it is the appropriate number of significant figures because the periodic table provides relative atomic masses to three significant figures. So that's the level that we'll take our answer to as well.